Hello there, crack book crackers. Uh, join me today. I just uh, got a PM from Alan. For those that don't know Alan, Alan's been a campaigner for uh, many, 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 many years. Um, and he sent me a link over and his feelings towards the link. And it was about um, how psychology degrees are done. Anyway, guys, just two seconds because I've got fag in my fucking hand. About outside, about inside, about outside, about inside. I personally would not choose to smoke at all. Hello, Emeril. I personally would not choose to smoke in my house. Shiloh was asleep as he is now and um, sorry guys I had to get nicotine heck I was starting to turn into the nicotine monster and it goes nicotine 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 feed me feed me feed me your nicotine feed me your nicotine so it's not actually tobacco it's the nicotine so they did tobacco without nicotine like they do coffee without um, caffeine, that would be amazing, but it wouldn't probably give you the same thing. Um, why do we smoke? We smoke because Freud said that we hadn't been breastfed by our mothers. Those who were not breastfed tend to be smoking. It was Freud who said that. Freud, as you know, is a psychologist. Freud was also... Like you like puppies? I do like puppies. Yeah, you want to get a puppy. Well, we've got a rule. We can't have puppies here in this house. Um, my battery's just about to go, but luckily I'm at home. So, let me just grab my charger. It just means I'm going to be slightly restricted to standing here because I'm going to have my charger in. And to make sure I don't unplug the freezer because that's what annoys me about Dean. Dean unplugs the freezer and then he... And then I go mental because I've got frozen stuff. Puppies love you. so I can't ignore my son. They do love you. Do you want to say about puppies? Do you want to talk about puppies? What about, what about puppies? Yeah. What do you think about all these people who've been coming in and out of our home? Um, that mummy puppies. shouts at. The one that mummy shouts puppies. at. The puppies. puppies. You want to talk about puppies? Now, do you think you should shout at a puppy? Oh, no. No. Should you hit a puppy? No. 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 It's, it's too scary to you. Yeah. I don't love you. He can come on you. He's yeah. so he kissing you. Yeah, yeah. You, you like puppies. I love puppies. I love, but sometimes puppies bite though, don't they? So you can't just put your hand next to any puppy, can you? What do you have to do if you? So soft. I know, but what do you have to do if you want to stroke somebody's dog that you don't know? What have I, What have you been told that you have to do? Um. Puppies. Yeah, you have to ask the owner though, don't you? If you can stroke them first, and you let mummy go first, don't you? You don't hey. just run up to a dog, do you? Or let a dog just run up to you? Because what could a dog do? Don't run away. Mm. Don't. They don't got shoes on. No, puppies don't have shoes on. Um, they have to. And guess what else puppies don't have? <laughs> Racism. <gasps> Whoa. There's lots of different puppies, isn't there? Um, and like cars, there's lots of cars, and there's lots of different human beings too. Um, puppy go in the car. Puppies can go in the car, but they have to go in the car properly strapped in, don't they? You can't just have a dog just running all the way around the car now, can you? No. No. I drive the car. And what do? What the puppy? What you? Oh well, be careful. Oh, so and now Elijah's <laughs> driving cars. You're driving a car, are you? Oh, no, no. Why would you want to chase the puppy? Oh yeah, we chase it. No, because if he's running away from you, then he's scared. So what's the point of chasing somebody who's scared? Because then what happens when you find the puppy who's very scared? What do puppies do if they're very scared and they're very frightened and you try to go near them? Oh yeah. We... What does a puppy do? Or even a dog or a lion or any animal that's been hurt in, and wounded? In the zoo. In the zoo. You put them in a zoo. Is that what you do to them? You pick them up and you put them in a zoo. That's when you put 
puts them in the cage. And he put them in the cage. It's so cute. So they're cute in the cage, are they? And so you can touch them. But, but why should animals be put in cages when they're uh, free? Say at what point should any animal be in a cage, Elijah? If we had a dog, would we have a dog in a cage or in a garden? Dog, uh, um, in a garden. Would you put your dog in a cage? No. Why not? In the garden. In the garden. Hey, you play him in the garden. But would you put your dog in a cage? Um, in. What if in your doggy was barking and really barking? What would you do if your doggy was barking? Um, it's woofing. Yeah, but what if he's barking really, 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 really loud? Um, he can't hear us. And he woofs right there. I know, but why would the doggy be barking really, really loud? What makes dogs bark? Um, woofing. Yeah, something. but why would a dog bark, Elijah? Woofing sounds. Yeah. Now, if a dog's all happy and he's waggling his tail and everybody's all lovely hey, and you can pet him, yeah. but what happens if somebody's That's just kicked that dog, that dog, or somebody's just hurt that dog, or dragged that dog, or even beaten that dog? Mm, pet the dog. The dog would be scared, wouldn't he? Don't. Now, other thing is, dogs can he, be protectors, not, and, and, and not, dogs will bark if not. someone's coming into the he house. Not, he not. But dogs are lovely, aren't they? Oh yes. But so sometimes cute. they bark. It's so cute. And sometimes they'll even it's bite so you. So cute. So do you keep children away from all dogs? It's, it's so cute. Or just the Rottweilers? I'd be a Rottweiler. Would you take him away it's from so me? It's so cute. I'd be a lion. Roaring lion. No. Would you go near a lion? No. Why not? Lion. I can show you so many videos of people hey, with lions. Hey, watch, watch. And three lions saved a rhino the other day. The other rhino? Week. Rhino? A rhino. What Nanny loves rhino. Now, Nanny and Scott. Hello, Scott, who wrote Rhinosaurus Success. If you haven't read what Rhinosaurus Success, about? then you'll know why I talk about rhinos and what lazy cows. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about psychology, Elijah. We're talking about animals. Animals. We're, talk we're going to use animals instead of humans, are we? And who? Now, animals don't smoke, apart from bees. And bees are being choked, funny enough. So actually, they, yes, that's what they do to bees in their, when they put them into ca 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 uh, ca 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 into a business plan, basically. I like, I like animals. You like animals. What's your favourite animal? An elephant. Oh yeah. And what happens to when in India when they tie the elephant to a post and then they let go of the lead? What happens? Does the elephant move or not? Um, Even though the lead's no longer there. The walk at this. The walk. But if somebody's told them to stay there and not move, what hey. does an elephant do? In uh, the trunk sound. It yes. Does trunk sound. They make a noise. Like us humans, when we get frustrated and annoyed like an and elephant. stressed and it's angry. So people get angry, Elijah. What? Does mummy get angry? No. <laughs> now, what about when we have people come into you the house? I know. <laughs> I don't like cuts and me. Hey, look at my badge. What's on your badge? On uh, my boat. Your boat? What's that called? What is a ship? No. Is it a boat? It's the Titanic, actually, that he's got on him. A Titanic! The Titanic. A Titanic. Is a Titanic. Boat. And with the Titanic in the sea. And what happened to the Titanic? Uh, uh, it was just the tip of the iceberg. And it, there was it all of that look, under it, there. The tip of the iceberg. No, it doesn't tap it over in the water. Yeah, where's... where's Snow and icebergs, Elijah. Where's a really snowy place? And it doesn't fall over. No. Where's your favourite place that's got lots of snow that's and melting at the moment because it's seasonal? In the ice. It is actually melting more rapidly. It broke the, the Titanic. The Arctic. And it broke the Titanic. It did break the Titanic, didn't it? The iceberg. And then and it, it sunk, and the ship sunk. Look at it. Bowers. Look. <laughs> Oh, we got a screen! 
Oh. Yeah, this is so my battery's low and it's my, my charger. I need a proper iPhone charger. I'm having all that same problems again with these cheap chargers. It's messing my phone oh, up sweet. again. So, but it's like 20 quid for a proper iPhone charger, what which is really annoying. What about the Titanic? What about the Titanic? I got the Titanic. Yeah, the Titanic. There was an iceberg of a problem, just the tip of the problem, but there was a big, big root underneath it that people just didn't realise. You can get the Titanic. Yeah, but there's all these I lay the people, Titanic. you see. Yeah, the Titanic. And they decided not to put enough rafts on. So more people died than they had to, didn't they? Yeah? Oh, yeah, and about the Titanic. Yeah. The so what do you think about these people that mummy keeps shouting at? Mm, oh, actually, boat. I'm encouraging you to talk with your food in your mouth at the moment. So do you want to go finish your toast while I finish this, this up? No. And I'll do a one with you later if you want with your train set. I do like puppies. Mm, yeah, but you've got your food in your mouth now, so you need to keep your mouth closed. You shouldn't be talking while you've got your food in your mouth. That doesn't mean shove your food in your mouth so you can talk. You either put it down to continue to talk. Can you hear that? Or you keep your mouth closed while you, you eat and wait until after. Can you hear Manners. that? Can you hear that? Can you Manners. hear that? Something social workers should have. So can when you, you offer them a coffee, can you hear that? they should accept it. I can, can I can. hear that? I can hear. We can hear all the, tram, all the cars and everything, can't we? Do you, why do they not take coffee? Is it, good boys. is it your head? Judged straight away. Is it your head? Mm -hmm. Is it your head? Is and because they have to go to the loo so Close often. There is something I'm actually trying to talk no, about, but obviously Elijah is slightly hearing? taking us on a... Hey, yes. I, no, I hear. Okay. Can you put your head to an ear? That's my traffic. I can hear all the things. Oh, I can hear something. I can smell something. I can smell something. What can you smell? Can you taste something? Oh yeah, tasty food! Mm -hmm. Someone's got like, some tasty food. It's like this toast. Mm -hmm. That's so good. You have some? No, we don't usually just have white bread. It's called the local shop. And Daddy went this morning to get some milk and bread. Mummy likes her Warbletons. However, we have heard stories hey, easy, about Warbletons. Easy, easy. I don't eat white bread, darling. Mummy doesn't eat white bread. You're dead. No, I get very, 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 very poorly. And you shouldn't really be eating white bread. But this is what people don't understand about prevention being better than cure, isn't it? Huh? What's that? That we get one What's body. That? How many bodies have you got? One. Two, three. Oh, that's three people though. But how many bodies have you got? What's what? What's these down here? Um, He's yeah. absolutely filthy and would be considered grubby. By the way, come here a minute, Elijah, because I want to show what a report would look what? like. Come here a minute. What? Can Yikes. I can I show you your jumper a minute? Come here, let me show you your jumper. Look at the state of your jumper. Absolute grubby child. Take, oh, he's got a nappy on. Let me take his nappy out. But look at this grubby child. Look, Absolute grubby it's not dirty child. Anymore. And actually, he does need a haircut. But we are trying to actually grow this out so we can go a bit funky through the summer. So, no. and that hence why Shiloh has short hair at the moment because he has short hair and wants short hair. Elijah wants to grow his out. That's his choice to do so. He wake up. He wake up. Hurry. Oh, hello. Get him back to bed, please. Why get him back to bed? He's, it's probably better that he doesn't have a long sleep because that was a bit of a late sleep today. Oh no, he's getting... So should we get tidied up again and get dressed to go out? We need to We need to try and get into the storage unit. So I've got to try and find someone to break into my storage unit because Ding says, ask the cleaner, and I'm apparently shagging. Um, but anyway, before I go, guys, um, I haven't finished what I actually wanted to talk about. So hopefully, but Shiloh's just woken up. I was expecting it to get a bit longer. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Amber to get the article that Alan sent, post it and post it onto mine. Um, but also, not in, just to show you what, some, what level of education somebody should have. Social workers aren't psychologists. What do you want, sweetheart? What have you lost? And this one decided to put four pairs of shorts on today and eight jumpers. What are you after? 
What are you looking for? Anyway, I'll come back and talk about what I was going to talk about, um, about social workers, basically, and all people, <laughs> even civilians, using psychological keywords when they're not actually clinical psychologists. Um, I'll actually get space to talk about it because he's just coming to sit with me. Um, and basically, say even the, the warden um, that came here, he's just a warden. He, they just got to go around, check the halls, check for the fire safeties, make sure there's nothing they have to report to the police or anything like that. But prior to that, he worked in mental health. But that's not his job role. That's not what he's being paid for. You have to leave that at your home. Whatever you learned before, that's not your job. If you were a till person working in uh, Tesco's and you were once a police officer, you can't arrest and detain somebody for shoplifting because you're not a police officer. You are a till checkout person. Now, we have these formalities and structures and qualifications for a reason because at the end of the day, if you broke your arm, <clears throat> yes, you can bind it in the way that they used to with some dock leaves and, and all of these natural ways of doing it. But we, the layperson, isn't educated. I have to take my car to a garage. Oh, I'm going to beat you back. Oh, my son's goading me. He wants to fight. Oh, we're talking fighting talk now, are we? Guess that from his dad and me, unfortunately. My son going to dangle him off the 17th floor. Like I said, I was going to um, break the Xbox. I smashed the Xbox up or kill the kids. I didn't mean it. He's sharp teeth. And that's my fault, but we are sharp teeth. Are you insistent in opening my mouth? Are you going to be a dentist? You know, would you want somebody looking at your teeth? Are you okay? Do you want some more milk? No. No? Do you want, do you want some milk? No. Do you want to go back to sleep? No. Do you want me to turn the live off? No. What do you want? Oh, pop. Oh, pardon you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to click off and go and um, attend to the kids. Um, oh, no, he wants me to. Oh, he's wanting to. You want some milk? You want cars on? You got cars on. All right, shall I put you some more milk in that? You're actually drinking an empty bottle there, darling. Um, so basically, in the meeting the other day, one, I had to step up and represent myself legally in the room, even though you don't actually have solicitors. But I had to basically be a barrister because I have a upheld ICPC. And by the way, somebody's just come on here live who I know full well was abused within the care system and has had all of this information used against her and she needs to get herself back up and she needs to go and get a fucking solicitor and she needs to go and sue the asses off of these people who put her with the doctors who abused her and take her life back. And I'm not going to name her. She knows who she is. And she knows she's sitting on here, and she knows that I wouldn't say this if I didn't love her. I did get your message the other day. I haven't had a chance to reply. And, of course, I'm assuming you have no childcare issues, so get yourself down to Portsmouth and come and have a coffee um, and talk about whatever you want to say. And um, we'll go and get that case against these people. And I would assume that the grandparents that have your children right now are probably causing more problems than what other people have done. So, end of that matter, get your ass to Portsmouth and we'll have a chat. Um, I love you dearly and we have been friends for a very, 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 very long time. And um, of course I'm here for you. Um, so, but in the room, because uh, I have an upheld ICPC complaint from when they um, took Elijah and Shiloh. Oh, sorry, took Elijah and assaulted me while I was pregnant with Shiloh. <coughs> the word is emotional dysregulation, right? So, 
that's what they're basically looking at me for, emotional dysregulation, how I manage my emotions when I am around my children. Now, they're not actually having a go at me for any conversations around my children. They're actually having a go at me for how I talk to those in authority. So when I'm actually in these meetings with them and when they attend and how firm am I am with them. Why am I firm with them? I'm firm with them because they are playing lay psychologists. And as I have a psychology degree, I know I am not a chartered psychologist or a psychotherapist. I am not allowed to step out of my remit and claim to be a psychologist or a psychotherapist because I'm not. Afternoon, Antoinette. No, I am not. So when a social worker is using things like even the word stress, Depression. You want some more toast? You're cool. Depression. Um, even your borderline personalities. All of these labels that you have been given by the psychotherapists or anything like that. They're not qualified to understand it. They are not qualified to know what it means. It is not their remit. It is not their jurisdiction. So when they turn up and they come in and they make suggestions that you may have depression or you may have this or any of this... They're not there for you, girl, people. They are children social workers. They are there to assess whether the children are showing signs of anything. They are not, ad- they are not in their remit as an adult social worker. Only an adult social worker can come out and talk to an adult and assess whether there are any underlying issues, per se. So only they can do that and then their job is to then signpost that person to whether it be like we have here, Talking Change, and Talking Change will make the decision after that conversation, that listening ear, whether or not you have had any, um, any you need to be referred to something a little bit deeper. Now here's the lun- uh, challenge. Now if you do go to something like Talking Change, you'll be given a questionnaire. That questionnaire will say to you, How do you feel suicidal? Do you have suicidal thoughts? Are you depressed? Do you do this? Blah, 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 blah. One, you're not your own psychologist, so how the fuck would you know? And two, it's trauma, so actually it can take up to 18 months for somebody in therapy to even fucking tell you what happened to them. Um, so it doesn't work. What is annoying me, and back to the ICPC, is that they were bringing words back into a room that they are reading off of paperwork. The reason that it has to go to a psychologist is because a psychologist is qualified to understand these things. Once you're given these labels, it doesn't define you. It's not who you are. It is what has happened to you. And this is why it goes so wrong, because they see these things as personality. Trauma is not personality. Trauma is what has happened to you. Why? What's going on? I bet he's gone back to sleep. Why? What? What do we need to go to fire brigade now? What is burning? It's because it's all fire, the fire toast. over here. The toast. The toast. No, the toast is not burning. It is. No, it's not. It's fine. It's in a toaster. However, Mummy has left the charger slightly sitting under it, which is not a very good idea. Again. That might have been a warning from my son. Okay, we're putting a fire out on the toaster now. However, however, my charger, funny it's enough, was actually sitting under the toaster, which is not it's actually hot. But you never know. We're talking about safeguarding at the end of the day. Get two hoses! Two hoses! Right, we need two hoses! Come on in, let's go! Don't forget when a fire hose goes back though, as XR known, I should have could have warned you. You can't just hold a fucking fire. Hobby, hobby, hobby. I just swap. Hobby, right, hobby. ready. What happens when you have a you have a backlash, don't you? So you actually need about three or four people to hold a hose, don't you? Yeah. So if anyone tried to pick up a hose by the way and try to shoot it, it's gonna make it go no, boom, it's gonna fire. Oh shh. It's going to throw you all over the floor. Um, right, anyway, your toast is here, dude. Oh. Ah, so, nice. basically, in the room, the reason that it is multi-agency yeah, but, is because somebody has to be qualified for your big toe and somebody has to be qualified for your toenail. None of them <laughs> are actually qualified in knowing you and who you are. Why did I just go in the fridge to get the milk out? Seriously, this is what I mean, guys. I've gone to get the milk out. I need the fucking butter. Now. Um, this is how backwards it is. I have to go backwards, sorry, from my fridge. So basically, the topic of conversation really is 
to really think about it. And actually, you have right to tell these people, are you currently in your qualifica- qualificated remit? You know, are you actually a mental health social worker? You have a right to ask these people when they come to you. And, and rather than take them on attack, by the way, take the time to interview them and say, yes, uh, I have these current issues. Uh, however, I need to make sure that I'm talking to the right person who is qualified and can actually help me. Um, so if it's relationship problems, then you have the right to say to the social worker, you know, are you a qualified relate specialist? Are you trained in counselling and therapy? Therefore, you're not willing to discuss your relationship issues with them at this particular point because you would need to discuss it with um, somebody who is qualified to do so. And that's exactly the same as um, if you're having any problems with your child. Um, CAMs are not qualified to know about autism, believe it or not. Uh, no, I haven't got a balcony, I wish I did. Um, make my life a lot easier if I did. No, we are trapped in this fucking hellhole. Um, well, we're not actually, because the managed mood's going through, but it's just going to take us to further problems at the end of the day. Um, I know what I need, I know what my, my family need, I know what the problems are. Um, it is just the fact that somebody like me burns at both ends of the candle and um, you know sometimes I have to take some time out but when you have a home and when you have kids there's certain things I have to continue which is why I prefer to homeschool my children because they also need to rest they also need to take time out they also can't work to the shifts of the school at the same rate they get to a class after PE and think look I just want to go and have a sleep for a bit after you know doing PE for an hour or whatever but you've got to go to your maths lesson and focus so um Oh, fantastic. That's cool. That's cool. Glad you get a move. Um, yeah, I'm, go- I'm getting a move. But again, because the move's got to go happen, it, again, it comes under safeguarding because the kids are in an overcrowded house. That's something that's considered safeguarding. So child protection could be anything. I could be an EDS mother as protecting my child. Is people assume that it just must mean that you've beaten your child, sexually abused your child, or you physically hurt your child. And the problem is the stereotype to society, really because somebody like me should be able to walk down the street with my adult social worker because I might be going for a job interview and they might just want to explain to the person that I've got the job to what the reasonable adjustments might entail and what the budget is and they'll turn around to the employer and say but don't worry about it we're paying for it so it might just be that they change the desk in my office. It might mean that the computer's just slightly different. And it might just mean that my boss is told that, you know, if I stand up and I'm walking around and pacing around, you know, don't tell me to sit down like a teacher does. Um, even at school, you know, it might be that my chair is different. It might be that... I can actually, as a student, like I did at university, be able to call in and say I'm working from home today and be able to watch the tutor on screen on my um, web uh, provider. And that wasn't classed as me being um, playing hooky, it was just the fact that it was a management plan for somebody like me. Society isn't very good at people being supported. We have to be perfect and nobody really... Yes, darling? What's the matter? I've done it for you. Where's this up there, you nugget? It's there. No, up there. Well, you move it. Why am I coming over here to move it for you? No. <laughs> move your own bloody plate. Um, you move your own plate. Yeah? Yeah, you won't find a wife who's going to pick your plate up either. And if she bloody does, mate, I'll sort her out. Um, and pick your... <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? You want to go there? No. Oh, I won't go there, mate. Oh, I won't go there. You'll be the one calling child protection. Um, <laughs> and then you've got the other half of it where children are actually taught to call child protection are using it as a weapon and then have it pulled on their children but the problem that I'm talking about is at the end of the day they've got to tick a box and in order to tick a box it has to sit in a remit of emotional or physical actually have any when they say physical they mean you know they don't actually have any remit that supports people for 
what it is because if you're telling a mother who's under the, men the mental health that you got to come under the mental health therefore now we've got to look at the emotional regulation of how you are managing this per se issues that you are dealing with and this trauma with your children what you tend to find with mothers by the way is and this is psychologists would as social workers wouldn't know this because most children social workers haven't even actually popped their cherry yet and most of them have only just come from university after getting pissed stone taking a few fucking pills and sliding a few lines and testing out their own boundaries in life on what they do and what they don't do some of them might have studied and got their head down like a boffin and learned the word narcissistic personality they learned it from a book a book which is a cut and paste and social workers then cut and paste reports so if per se somebody is diagnosed with Asperger's or Erlos Danlos syndrome they don't get to know the person they get to know the criteria of the tick box no different than getting to know a prescribed medication that says that ultimately it might kill you mate it might give you the shakes it might make you vomit but we're gonna scruff it down your fucking throat anyway and I'm going to use my friend who I was talking about as a per example when me and Dean went to visit her in her per said old house and we looked at her and I nearly felt like absolutely slapping her because I thought she was absolutely out of her fucking head and on her nuts. She was on prescribed fucking medication being forced by this system for how to deal with her trauma from her abuse. And I'm really, really sorry if I'm triggering you off right now, honey, which is why I said get in your fucking car and drive down here. It's the weekend. Dean's not here. You, you can come and chat and we'll do whatever we need to do. Um, so, and you, what, what, take you about 40 minutes to get here. Um, so, at the end of the day, you have trauma a trauma is not a label it is not a tick box of all of these things because i'm diagnosed with asperger's it doesn't mean that i am don't have any em empathy it doesn't mean that, that i can't connect to people that's just a tick box from somebody's external understanding of somebody internally but all these people are still looking at the leaves but not understanding here it is only now in 2020 since um the suicide of um i don't want to get i don't watch her i don't know who she is so i'm not going to go there but um you know people are now talking about the fact that actually people get up for work and feel fucking depressed that they can't go to work people get home on a friday and go and get fucking pissed to be able to deal with their fucking week that they've had and people feel absolutely fucking miserable on a sunday knowing full well they have to get up for work on a fucking monday people are starting to wake up to this slavery rat race hamster cage existence that they have been in and people are starting to actually go Go, hang on a minute I don't have to actually get up to go and take my kids to school what do you mean I don't actually have to get up and take my kids to school well hang on a minute I don't actually have to get up and go to work for this person to be able to get this minimum wage to be able to pay for uh, Jimmy Savile to be able to go and fuck kids at BBC and for our government to be able to go to war I don't actually have to fund this war I don't actually have to fund this paedophile thing down yeah you know um deborah's just said that people are genuinely you know slowed down of course one the pineal gland has been uh, crystallized straight away uh, decrystallized straight away you have this with immunity immunity one of the one of the things about me and childcare for my children, one thing that is so important is if you're looking after my children, if you ever install that word, I can't, into my children, I will fucking kill you, do you understand? You know, I'm not talking about whether you want to rape my children, abuse my children, I'm talking about whether you want to disempower my children by giving them cursed words that will jinx them for the rest of their lives such as i can't yeah just because you think you can't don't tell my son he can't skateboard yeah don't tell my son that if my son decides say this was our own home yeah and i didn't have all these people out here and my son said to me mom can i jump out the window i'll go and get the mattresses and say yeah because he actually wants to do that
I would talk to him about why he wants to do it. I'm, I'm talking about not having a suicide. I'm talking about kids that are free runners. I'm talking about kids that are skateboarders. I'm talking about kids that are extremists. I'm talking about my son, Liam, who I would walk along the pier and I would turn around and he would be at the top of a fucking hey, lamppost. Hey, hey, hey. I like puppies. You like puppies. No, sit down over there. Okay. To where I actually want to get to with this, because in that room, when I sat in that CP conference again, they were using these words that were projected onto me, that were painting a picture to the chair, that was ultimately changing how things were. And I slammed it, and I said, "I am the only person in this room that actually has a psychology degree. If that is incorrect, can any person disclose whether they have a psychology degree in this room?" No, fantastic. Can we move on? I, as a psychology degree, I'm not allowed to say anything about you that would be projecting onto you you want to talk to her oh we'll get we've got an interview going on here now elijah's got me sitting over here on the chair while he's sitting over that side on the chair so we're going to talk about puppies so let's go back to talking about these being puppies because puppies can't talk for themselves can they elijah no and you have to be able to look at a puppy and be able to understand the difference if a puppy might bite you no. Yeah, but puppies do bite. No, they don't bite. They do bite. Some puppies do, and some puppies scratch, and some puppies lick you, and some puppies are really, really heavy. They could knock you over. No, he can lick me. Yeah, but that's your boundary. That's you saying to the puppy, you can lick me, but you're saying no to scratching you and no to biting you. So you're okay playing with a puppy, and you don't mind getting licked, but he's not allowed to scratch you and he's not allowed to no, bite you. you can cuddle. Oh, and you can cuddle. You can, you can cuddle the puppies. Okay. You can cuddle the puppies really well. I can hear the puppies. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I can't see my face. I can't see my face. <laughs> hey, sit over there. I can't because then I can't see your face. Let me pull my interview chair over. Because I'm probably going to have to plug my battery back in again at some hey, point. There, so go on there, then. You tell there, me where your boundaries are. Hey, I've got to sit on the chair. Sit right there. Sit right there. I've got to sit here. Hey. Okay, so you... Right, but you tell me what you were saying about... Your, your boundaries. So you like puppies, yeah? I like puppies. Yeah. But puppies scratch. No. So puppy's not allowed to scratch you? No, they don't. Come lick you. Can lick you. And hugs. Oh no, I can't see me. Typical kid. Um, someone's just said that my sound's gone all funny. Um, I have a feeling my charger Mommy, might go in a minute as well. Puppies. You want to learn about puppies? We're going to go and talk about puppies, but at the end of the day, the rule is that we can't have puppies in this place. So I need to I move somewhere that clearly my son can have a puppy. Um, it might just be Elijah's sound. Oh, he wants to see himself. Go on, then you knock. Ah, I, I can see my face up there. Puppies love the home, not for the house. 
in our cage. What is this? Oh no, they're laughing. Oh, look. Look, they are love hearts, see? Are they sending you love hearts? I don't get the love hearts. You're getting the love hearts. That's the... Like the smiley faces. Okay, so... Okay, so you live with mummy and daddy. Mm. Yes. Mm. And we have got lots of friends. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Mm, mm. I've got to do yes. this now in a way that he might understand. Are you sure? Okay. I don't even want to project words onto him, to be honest. Um, you can't see him down there. You can't see the kids down Elijah. there. Elijah, we got a puppy. What? We got a puppy. And they said that we couldn't have a puppy in this house and they took that puppy away. How would you feel? No. How are you going to be in the cage at home? You'd want a puppy in a cage? Oh, yeah. No, why would you put a puppy in a cage? No. Is that what society teaches you with these zoos and things? Now, zoos should be a hospital where if an animal is broken, then they can help fix it. And okay, people can enjoy it, but they shouldn't be kept in the zoos for you. They should be set back to where they are. And if they can't go back to where they are... Go so in the car and it's not right. in the ambulance. Mm. In the jeep. In, um, in the monster truck. And in the jeep. In the monster truck. In the helicopter. In the plane. But you could have a whole life doing all of that instead of just sitting in a school. Anyway, before we go, do you want to go to school in a cage? Do you feel that your education... You need more education than mummy and daddy hey. can give you. Hey, you're looking at over there. It's so difficult to ask him hey, these questions, but he wants me to interview there. them. So basically, they tried writing down in this uh, child protection I thing about the nursery. I and I said, hang on a minute. You know that cut and paste that you read in your book at uni? You want to stop regurgitating it in your head because if you actually took some common sense and were qualified to do so, then you would look at my child's educational levels and realise that other than maybe peers, education needs doesn't need to go on your plan because one, they're not of any legal age for that. And I think what should you should be concluding is actually mother and father actually have children to a higher standard that any nursery could it's even cope with truck. right now. It's they wouldn't have the time. Truck. They wouldn't have the time to, 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 to give these two. And somebody like Shiloh, bless his cotton socks, he's laying down there. Um, somebody like Shiloh, he, 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 he would... He... <laughs> I can already see it. I can already see him standing on the chair and flipping the chair over. I can already see him getting on top of the table and trying to jump between the tables. Yeah, you could knock it into him, do you know what I mean? But you'd have to beat him down to take that out of him. You'd have to really take who he is as a person out of him. Somebody's hurt their leg. And what happens if they hurt their leg? Should they take the kids away? Sorry, Shiloh, I shouldn't say it. Irony, hey? Um, but yeah, you know, you could get somebody like Shiloh to sit down in a classroom and move and, and go to all of these things, but you would take his spirit out of him to do that. And the moment he came out of any education things and stuff, he would be the one that would fuck off your college, fuck off your uni, and probably get a backpack and do what his dad's done and go off and be who he is. He'd probably run away from school. I would end up with him being taken away from me. He'd run away from foster care. He, he would be like his dad. It, you know, Dean was diagnosed with Asperger's just and you know he 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 got done at school for for graffiti and <laughs> it would have been the first ever most famous fucking piece if they'd left it there but um you know people would be paying millions for that piece now if they'd left it there billions it would be auctioned off from billions now they're idiots same as that lad that was expelled from school for his entrepreneurial ships in selling 
hand sanitizers and got expelled, you know, put the man in bloody business school for fuck's sake. Um, so what if you take education from him? He's all, it's a difference now. Is he going to go and sell weed instead of hand sanitizer? Or is he actually going to put that into some good sense and use? Do you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, I'm going to be doing a live later that is going to be predominantly looking for um, a, a, a property the right property and how I'm going to pay for this property and then the next is the childcare so I can focus on finally getting into hospital and having this rehabilitation done that I have waited 41 years for but obviously wasn't diagnosed until I was a mother and I have never had a supportive partner who has actually ever wanted to accept the level of pain that I deal with because they would rather accept that it wasn't real and I was acting than probably accept what I have to go through and I've had that all my life so I've had that even with dating um so I do find it easier on my own I'm gonna get some fire I'm gonna get some fire you're gonna get some fires I don't particularly really want to have an au pair but it does seem to be the better way I'd rather just have family and friends that get it um I need your help but for me to let my kids go to anybody now like seriously like Jamie was the first person uh, other than the two girls that had me, um, to look after these two the other day and even then I had to get myself out of the meeting quickly to dart down to the park to quickly go and check them and come back yeah I was high anxiety even they couldn't see that someone needs our help do they somebody out there needs our help guys Somebody out there needs our help. We have to get our van, don't we, and go and help them. You want to go and help people, don't you? Hey, get the fire! Get the fire, hubby! Anyway, guys, I'm going to shoot off because I can't get to point and I don't want this to drag on or be too long um, because actually this is quite a strong, poignant message that I wanted to get out there just to remind you Whoa, look that... Look at how high um, it goes! Tip it on them. Um, you, you you are entitled to the right Isn't people around you. What go, how high what goes? <laughs> and um, this is what I'm going to be working on to help me, and that is getting into um, my own timetable. Not the education system's timetable, not government's timetable, not the tax man's timetable, not the systematic timetable. Um, and that is literally, by the way, just before you go, the systematic timetable um, is literally the slaves get up, they go to work, they drop their kids off. Actually, you drop, actually, you drop, it used to be the other way around. Um, they would take the kids. So you go to work and literally you're paid a wage and then you go home and you pay your bills and you get Christmas to go and get drunk, you get Easter to go and spend with your family and you get, um, what, uh, so many days to be able to take for a family holiday. And then if you're here in the UK, they're gonna make it 10 times higher a price to the train station. So you can't afford to go away and you stay here in Great Britain. I can be a train if you want me to be a train. Choo choo!